Ego has an astonishing talent for serving up demoralizing poison darts. If you've had enough of that claptrap, the next time Ego whispers those demoralizing thoughts, respectfully tell Ego to sit down because Soul's taking over the wheel now. Hi, I'm Deborah Lupien, voice of the Akashic Records, bringing you the November 2022 Lightworker Forecast from Archangel Metatron. So what can we expect in November, Metatron? Cloudy with a chance of flurries or rainy with a chance of sunshine. It depends upon your perspective. That is to say, as the creator of your reality, you get what you expect to get. So if what you're getting isn't making you happy, then it's time to change your expectations. When you take a moment to reflect upon what you're getting, you may discover that there are wonderful elements that you have overlooked while focusing on that which you do not want. We say it is folly to expend effort focusing on what you do not want, for that causes it to expand. Why would you do that? Instead, find whatever is pleasing and put your focus there so the pleasing bits might expand. Here's the good news. It doesn't matter if you spent an entire lifetime creating that which you do not want. You can change all of that today by shifting your focus. Even if there's only a tiny speck of awareness to be grateful for, shine a big spotlight on that speck and watch it expand. This process will require a little faith and patience on your part, for if your ship has been headed in the opposite direction, it will take a short while to bring it about. We promise it will be worth the effort. Then, as you make focusing on that which pleases your new way of being, more of that which pleases will show up. And it will keep showing up until you're so happy that your feet barely touch the ground. This is the reality you can create for yourself. A wise use of time and resources, wouldn't you say? Once you've got your ship headed in the happy direction, notice how your newfound joie de vie affects those around you. They can't help but shift in response, whether that's into a more positive space or whether they exit the building, making the best choice for themselves just as you are doing. This is how you create massive ripples in the pond and change the world. Because those who are inspired to bring their own ships about will inspire still others. Ripple after ripple spreading across the planet nudging others to awaken to greater possibilities in their own reality. When you give folks a chance to choose happiness and fulfillment, most will happily accept. So you see, beautiful, magnificent one, you have tremendous power to change the world. Backed by a legion of angels, you are unstoppable, unless you choose to stop. There's the rub. As much as we want you to experience this grand transformation, and as much as you may desire it, you must take positive action to get the energy flowing. Without that, you're stuck in stagnant waters. Even then, all is not lost, for at any time, you can awaken from your stupor, assess the situation, then take new inspired action to spring forth from stagnation to transformation. It's never too late, never too soon. Although if you want our opinion, sooner is by far the optimal choice. Unless you're into self-torture, that is. Yes, self-torture is an all-too-pervasive reality for some. You've been sold a bill of goods about being an unworthy sinner or some other claptrap designed to keep you enslaved by your own mind. But that's not who you came to be. And now is the very best time to awaken to this truth. Throw off the mantle of oppression that's keeping you trapped and claim your birthright. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, then stand up. Look around. Find some new action that you can take. Even if it's something you really don't want to do, sometimes that's what it takes to break free of the oppressive egoic thoughts that are keeping you trapped. It's time to listen to your soul, who's yearning to break free and soar. Don't let anything stop you. Find a way, because you deserve it. 
then your glorious soul journey can really begin. Know that you are the equal of every other soul in the multiverse. Equal! But no one, including your angels, can make transformational choices for you. Until you grasp the understanding of what it means to be a sovereign soul, you're just treading water. You could do that for your entire life. Then you'd be filled with regrets when you exit this body at so many squandered opportunities. You've already had plenty of lives that turned out that way. This time you came with a big agenda to break away from oppression, to live full out with gusto, freely expressing yourself while up-leveling your vibrational frequency. So, magnificent one, when ego whispers those self-torturing thoughts about your worthiness, respectfully tell ego to sit down because soul's taking the wheel now. Do that every time those thoughts appear, replacing them with uplifting, empowering thoughts. You came with a big agenda. Now is the perfect time to get on with it. There's still time to climb aboard the cosmic wave of transformation and surf your way to the bright, fulfilling future you planned before you jumped into this body. Now, what does this have to do with November? Everything! Those light workers you've been waiting for in order to reach critical mass are the ones being held back because they feel unworthy with nothing to offer. That destructive lie has hamstrung them for a significant portion of their life. They'll remain trapped until they choose to stop being a target for egos demoralizing poison darts. Even though they may have heard this message hundreds of times, they never connected the dots to realize this is their key to freedom because they don't feel deserving. Again, we shout to the rooftops, that is a disgusting, treacherous lie foisted on you by those who wish to control, and they've been monumentally successful. However, now in this time of awakening, their death grip is weakening. The downtrodden can break free because those shackles, which appear to be unbreakable, are made from paper. Rip them off and run out into the big wide world claiming your sovereignty. Then climb aboard the love train with your fellow light workers and let's power on to Earthtopia. Thank you for that encouraging message, Metatron. Is there anything you want to share about what we can expect in November? I think I just did. November will be what you make of it, as is true of every month. Instead of cowering in fear or lying flat out feeling defeated, stand up. Take the reins of your life. Make some empowered choices. Then sail on towards better days. You've heard it often. Perhaps now you may understand this powerful truth. You are the creator of your reality. Don't like what you're seeing? Then make new choices until you do. It's that simple. We say this despite the conflicts you witness daily that say otherwise. Don't you realize that by focusing on them and slipping into fear, you are feeding them? Focus on what's right with your world. Feed that reality and watch it expand. Certainly be diligent about preparedness as we have mentioned before. Then shift your focus to creating more happy, uplifting days and share that focused energy with the world. You may not see tangible results in the near term, but your energy, combined with that of the millions of light workers doing the same, is consequential. Your world is incrementally shifting towards more positivity. Momentum is building. You are making a difference, so keep going. Now is not the time to lose heart and surrender. You are so close. When you're too weary to take another step, then stand on the feet of your angels. They'll help you keep moving forward. Never give up. This mission is critically important for the future of humanity and Earth. We believe in you. Please believe in yourself. With much love and never-ending steadfast dedication. There you have it, friends. Metatron's reassuring message that the world isn't ending and we have the power to make a difference. Time to stop listening to the doom and gloom crowd. Raise your eyes up and together let's march on towards Earthtopia. With Metatron and legions of angels on our side, we will prevail. One last thing. Mark your calendar for November 7th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 
for the next Metaphysical Chat live stream. Bring your questions about this forecast or whatever other metaphysical topic is on your mind, because the angels always have the best answers. If you subscribe and hit the bell notification, you'll get a reminder so you won't miss out. I can't wait to see you then. Thank you for being here. Words cannot adequately express how much your support means to me. Until next time, this is Deborah Lupien, Voice of the Akashic Records.